We have the season's biggest game next week, and Elijah still can't play. He's hurt himself in practice, and we need a captain. It'd be a huge favor to the team. Otherwise, we're out. Elijah was seething with rage, but Charlie just couldn't turn down the coach. Of course, sir. I'll see you at practice. On the day of the match, Charlie played his heart out as team captain, and when he scored the winning goal against the school's biggest rivals, the whole crowd erupted into cheers. He ran over to Brianna in the stands and kissed her in front of everybody. Then his teammates carried him away on their shoulders while he waved the trophy happily. After celebrating with the team, Charlie headed out of school. He was just a couple of blocks away when someone pushed him into an alley. He looked up to see a couple of thugs, and behind them was Elijah. What are you doing? No, Charlie, what are you doing? You've really picked the wrong guy to mess with, haven't you? I'm not messing with you, man. I helped your team because you couldn't play. Now you want to beat me up for that? I couldn't play because your girlfriend caused my injury, and you're to blame. She rejected me and insulted me because of you. She rejected you before she even met me, because you're a jerk. <sighs> You little weasel. You might be flying high right now, but I've been trying to warn you, you don't belong here. What makes you think Brianna is so different suddenly? How can you be sure she isn't making a fool of you again? I'm sure. Now back off. I'm the school's hero right now. I don't think you want to mess with me. Elijah looked ready to punch him, but some kids passed by the alley just then, and he stepped away. This isn't over. Two days later, the school was holding its annual spring dance, and Brianna walked into the gym looking for Charlie, who had said he'd meet her there. She saw Maddie, Amber, and Elijah glaring at her from a corner, then turned away to spot Charlie talking to someone. Hey, there you are. You look good. She leaned in to kiss him, but he gently pushed her away. We need to talk. I can't delay it any longer. Okay, you sound serious. What is it? Brianna, I'm breaking up with you. What? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Do I look like I'm joking? Charlie, come on, what are you doing? I said I'm breaking up with you. I, I don't understand. Can we please... Are you really as dumb as everyone says? I thought you were the smartest of the Barbie angels. Did you really think I was in love with you? No, Brianna, I was just playing your game. When you told me how you were desperately in love with me, I saw it as the perfect chance to take revenge. I decided to make you believe I loved you too, and then dump you publicly just like you girls did. Brianna stared at him speechlessly as everyone stared at them. Then Charlie walked closer and leaned in. How does that feel? being fooled and humiliated. I thought you should experience it. Oh, also one more thing. I won't be returning the $200,000 I borrowed from you. I've spent it already, treating myself to some nice things. I figured it's fair compensation for everything you've put me through. With that, Charlie left while Brianna stood frozen in her spot. Suddenly, she found Amber by her side. Come on, let's get out of here. As they walked out into the hallway, they heard Madison cackling loudly <laughs> behind them. Wow, that was epic! I've never respected Charlie more in my life! He really played a number on you, Bree Bree. And Amber, get away from her! She's not your friend anymore! Brianna didn't respond and continued walking away. We really broke him, didn't we, Brianna? Turned a perfectly nice guy into a heartless jerk. <laughs> now that's a high school project I'll always remember. Suddenly, Brianna turned around and lunged at her. Madison screamed as she tried to fight Brianna off. A few kids, including Amber, finally managed to pull them apart. God knows I've been wanting to hit you since the day I met you. And that's a memory I will cherish for years. Brianna turned away and ran out, breaking out into sobs. Brianna refused to go to school and just stayed in bed for days, feeling completely miserable. One morning, a maid brought her a letter. It was from Charlie. She anxiously ripped it open, and the check she'd given him for $200,000 fell out. He didn't even use it. He was just teasing me. I really don't get this jerk. He's completely messed me up. She buried her head in her arms and started to cry, but then she stopped and picked up the check. I don't care what Charlie thinks of me. I'm gonna use this to save my show. She jumped out of bed, stuffed the check in her bag, and put on her coat. A few days later, Charlie and Grandma were watching the local news on TV, when suddenly, Brianna's face appeared on the screen with the headline saying, Young TV star diagnosed with Crohn's disease. Charlie stared in shock, then his face darkened. Poor girl, that's terrible news. Charlie, I don't know what happened between you two, but I think we should go see her. She's lying. What do you mean? She's not sick, Grandma. This is all an act to get ratings and views for her show. What? No, she wouldn't do that. 
Why do you have to assume the worst about people lately? Because they are the worst. She told me of her plan to do this herself. Well, she must have some reason. Brianna isn't like that. Yes, she is. Why do you need to see the good in everyone, Grandma? Least of all these people. They're awful and shallow, and they think people like us are more worthless than the gum stuck to their shoes. I made a huge mistake convincing you to attend this school. I thought nothing could ever change you, but I was wrong. I hardly recognize you these days, Charlie. Grandma walked out before Charlie could say another word. A few days later, Brianna was told someone had come to see her downstairs. She made sure she looked pale and walked weakly into the lounge to find Elijah sitting next to her mom. What are you doing here? Mom, I told you, I feel too sick to have visitors. Brianna, please sit down. This is important. Brianna, we both know you haven't been very nice to me, but I've always cared about you. It just crushed me the way that poor scumbag humiliated you. What do you want, Elijah? Oh, I don't want anything, but I brought you something that will really teach Charlie the lesson he deserves. That day at the spring dance? One